Hello, my name is Jim Fuller and I'm here with Wessels Company to talk to you about the GMP, the glycol makeup package. We'll start off with the sequence of operation. The glycol and its percentage of solution is held in a solution container. From the solution container, we will draw the glycol through a pump. The pump used for our unit is from Fluidotech and it utilizes an internal spring that is a bypass pressure relief valve if the pressure rises too high. Fluid comes into the pump, pressure is increased with this rotary vein, and discharged out into the system at the higher pressure. The package is protected with a low water cutoff, which is using two probes. These probes are inserted into the glycol. If the level of the glycol falls too low, the continuity is broken. When the continuity is broken, the pump is shut off and an alarm is sounded. The pump is controlled with a pressure switch. The pressure switch is set to cut on at 60 PSI and cut off at 80 PSI. That 80 PSI of fluid is then stored in a pressure tank. This is the expansion tank that we use to store the glycol under pressure within the glycol maker package. It is a diaphragm tank. The diaphragm would be upward at a precharged pressure within the tank that could be measured at the air valve. Fluid flows into the tank until it compresses the air cushion to 80 pounds, at which point about one gallon would be stored within this two gallon tank. From there, the fluid goes through a pressure reducing valve. The pressure reducing valve will be set to whatever the system requirement is. If it's 12 PSI, set it for 12. If it's 20 PSI, set it to 20. The range of the pressure reducing valve can go from 10 PSI all the way to 70 PSI. You may need to store a little bit higher fluid in the, in the tank to make that happen, but, it can, but we can work that out. This is the pressure reducing valve, or PRV, that's used on the glycol makeup package. We remove the bonnet, you see a spring. The spring is what sets the tension that holds the valve open. The valve can be held open to a set point downstream of 10 PSI up to 70 PSI. The spring will hold the valve open until the downstream pressure equalizes the spring tension through the diaphragm that will then hold the diaphragm upward, closing the valve. 